Finding a solution to minimizing or eliminating corrosion on magnesium and aluminum engine parts has been a long-standing challenge for me. I mean, I'm tired of looking at those engine parts that have that kind of white specks on them when they sit in high moisture environments, particularly around salt air. You'll see it a lot if you have a car that's uh, by a coastal area. You're going to open up the hood like you see on this 240D here and you're going to say, wow, where did all this come from? But how do you stop it? And that's particularly true with magnesium engine parts. Now, magnesium is used on a lot of these newer engines like this S500 to eliminate weight. <laughs> And if you saw my last video in this series, by the way, that was November 4th, 2015. So it's been over nine months since I shot part two. And I said I was going to let this sit for a while and see how the different products that I used uh, work. Well, and I asked for input from uh, viewers who had bought my first 10 bottles of anti-corrosive gel. I heard one comment back that said, oh, this works great but nothing is going to prove the effectiveness of any product better than the test of time. And so here is a test of time, nine months later. Now this car is not garaged, it's not a garage queen. It's sat outside over this past winter in heavy rain environment in the Pacific Northwest. So what I'm gonna do now is pull off the covers on top of the engine. We're gonna take a look at those same areas I worked on nine months ago, and let's see if any of those products worked at all. Now in review, the magnesium parts on this engine in question are the valve covers here and the intake manifold. If you recall, I used three products. One was a metal wax, which I applied in this area, and it didn't even work for a day. So I literally eliminated that product. We ended up focusing on an anti-corrosive gel for the intake manifold and a special metal coating, almost like a shellac or varnish that was designed to protect metal, and we put that on this valve cover right here. So let's take a closer look at these two. We'll take a look at this one, and then we'll take a closer look at the intake manifold and discuss the results. You can see on this forward section of the right valve cover that those white spots have begun to reoccur. They're actually reoccurring underneath the coating that we brushed on over this magnesium part. So what's happened here, we didn't stop the corrosion. We just covered it over and it looked good for a month or so. But then you can see here that the corrosion is beginning to form underneath and it will all come back. Now looking more closely at the intake manifold, it looks almost exactly the same as we left it last November. Notice uh, there's no corrosion, no white spot showing at all. Remember, we didn't totally polish this out back in November, but we did clean it up and we did coat it thoroughly. And if I rub my gloves on this, look at this. If I rub my gloves on this, look, it's still lightly greasy. That's after nine months. So the anti-corrosive gel has literally stayed on the top of this magnesium. It's not collected that much dust, by the way, and it's not real sticky, but there's just still a light film. You can see it on my gloves there, and it has protected this magnesium intake manifold. So I'm really sold on this anti-corrosive gel that I've found, and now we've packaged on our website. And now I want to take this over and use this on that 240D that you see behind this S500. And let's see if we can make that engine look nice again. Well, you can see that the valve cover on this 240D doesn't look very good. We've got corrosion on top, of course, the oil filter housing, even on down on top the manual transmission. But primarily, we want to focus on this valve cover because that's what your eye sees. And particularly this rear section right here, you can see it actually looks like it started to pit into the aluminum. Now, in my kit, I do include some Scotch-Brite pad. I recommend you only use a Scotch-Brite pad if you need to, because it is going to scratch the aluminum, uh, you know, very fine scratches, but you may need to use this in order to get through some of the heavier corrosion. But if you have areas like this that aren't corroded, then I recommend you just take the anti-corrosive gel and use a rag, see? We're just gonna take the rag here and rub that in that area. You can see it'll start to pull a little bit of material off the valve cover. 
Okay, now let's take the Scotch-Brite pad now, and I'm going to put a little bit on the Scotch-Brite pad, and we're going to rub this corroded area very lightly. Once again, just use very light pressure on the Scotch-Brite pad. You can see now it's starting to shine a little bit. You're going to try to get a little bit of a shine to it. Now, you can work this about as much as you want. But if you want to spend the time doing this, you can do two or three applications with light rubbing with a Scotch-Brite pad, and you can almost get it to look again like the factory original aluminum. And I'm going to do that right here on this back section. I'm just going to keep rubbing it. Now I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure there. See, now I'm going to start rubbing pretty hard. That's what you'll have to do if you have an area like this that's pretty heavily corroded. Then you can come and wipe it off and see already you're starting to pick up some of that original aluminum look. Now if you have severe corrosion, you may not be able to do this with the anti-corrosive gel. You may have to resort to some acid. I have a couple videos on my website which talk about the different products that you can use to bring back the original aluminum shine to these valve covers. And then after that point, you can go ahead and apply the anti-corrosive gel so it won't continue to corrode in the future. Anytime you use an acid, of course, you're opening up the pores, and that's just going to accelerate any future corrosion on the aluminum or the magnesium unless you coat it with this anti-corrosive gel. Now, I'm not going to sit here for the next 10 minutes doing this on film, but I just wanted to show you this back section. You can begin to see, depending upon how much time you want to spend, you can really make your valve cover look nice. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly do this valve cover and coat it with the anti-corrosive gel. I'm not interested in show quality here. I'm just trying to get the area to look better. We're going to do this, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. When you've polished it about as much as you want, I mean, once again, you can go to great extremes on these. You could even pull this off the engine and almost make it look show quality, but that's not the case for this 240D for me, okay? But look, you just wipe it down. You're going to pick up a lot of extra little uh, real fine metal, metal particles in the anti-corrosive gel, but don't worry about it. You're going to leave this film on here. You won't wipe the film completely off. And you can see here that even on this valve cover, I've only used about a third of the gel in this bottle. So that's why we sell it in these smaller containers. It is pretty expensive chemical, but you don't need very much. This is probably good for two engines. And I would recommend about once a year, just come back and put a real light film on your aluminum and magnesium parts, and you're going to keep them looking just like this. Notice here even the Scotch-Brite pad, how dirty it is. But one Scotch-Brite pad uh, this size is probably good enough to do one valve cover as well. So in my book, this is the solution to preventing corrosion on your aluminum and magnesium engine parts.